Hey everybody, hey guys. Hello. this is Magilive, we're the Vasquez family, I'm Matthew, I'm Jimmy, I'm Joshua, I'm Jose, and today we are going to be reacting to the teaser trailer of Marvel Studios' Thunderbolts. <laughs> now for those of you that are with us, usually uh, we have a fifth member of our family, yes. um, Very our mom with us, numbers. Jenny, but she is not here with us today, she is working, um, she's okay, she's healthy, everything is okay, <laughs> yes. she's just working, doing really Hard, awesome um, mom boss stuff. Hard at so, work. Hard at work, yes. We wanted to jump onto the wave here of Thunderbolts, the teaser trailer. We yeah. definitely will watch this with her later. Mm -hmm. um, we're very excited, intrigued for this film, I think more than anything. Because of the characters involved, yeah. we don't know anything about Thunderbolts in terms of comic book history, all of that, what background there is of this movie, what's being speculated. I think more than anything, we're interested to see where these characters are going mm -hmm. uh, because they are very... Uh, intricate characters, each one of them. Um, I mean, right now, from the thumbnail, we see uh, Florence Pugh's Elena, uh, David Harbour as Red Guardian, we see Ghost, we see uh, Bucky, and Jeez. then John Walker, US agent, right? So, I think they've been recruited. Maybe this is like a Marvel Suicide Squad, right? Long These time in the making, man. Yeah. Vigilantes. Long time in the This movie's been in the making for years now. <laughs> So for it to finally be uh, coming out is, yeah. is, is definitely exciting and that's exciting to yeah. see. So anyway, you've talked enough. We'll talk more about this movie and our thoughts after. Let's jump into the teaser trailer of Thunderbolts. Here we go. Your subordinates will be reported to DoorDash HQ. <laughs> I see it's me. Open up. Milena? <laughs> Elena! <laughs> Hi, Dad. Sorry about the wait. Uh, it was an important call. Highly classified. Lot of work, lot of work. Many irons in fire. You feel fulfilled? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so full. So filled. <laughs> but why do you ask this? What, uh, what brings you here? Oh, boy. Uh. <laughs> oh. It's going up. Whoa. She's such a great I'm actress, man. I'm oh, just yeah. drifting. And I don't have purpose. I thought throwing myself into work was the answer. Oh, wow. Wow. That shot in the hallway was very much like Black Widow's shot in Iron Man 2, but opposite. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, wait, did someone else? Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. Yo, and I think that other one is Taskmaster. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Who are you? Uh, I I'm, I'm Bob. Who sent you, Bob? Nobody. <laughs> Were you all, you were all sent? Everyone here has done bad things. Wait, they were all sent to the same place. Government labs. <laughs> Contract kills. What? Yeah, so? So, someone wants us gone. Oh. Oh. Ooh. What the hell? Whoa. <laughs> we're brought up with this belief that there are good guys and there are bad guys. Huh. Who's this Bob guy? This could get messy. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Dang. But eventually, you come to realize that there are bad guys and there are worse guys. And nothing else. Look at you. So adorable. Huh. <laughs> Asterisk. Yeah. Bulletproof. What happened to bulletproof? <laughs> bulletproof ish. <laughs> Is that Bucky? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Oh my god. So he's hunting him down. <laughs> Dang. This is so fascinating. Oh, that is so cool. Right, Damn. so he's probably working for the person that's going after them. Yeah. Wow. I forgot her name. Well, doesn't she own Val? 
Oh. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. She yep. owns... It looked like Avengers Tower. I wasn't sure what that building was, but... Hmm. Well, was that like a glass box with Loki scepter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked like some kind of like art show, auction. I'm not sure what that was. Museum, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like a movie that will just unravel, and it's going to be kind of hard to know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. At least it seems that way. Right. Um, but I do, I do know there's a promise of some great interactions and mm -hmm. some very, very cool chemistry that we haven't seen um, since I mean, probably... The last Avengers movie where you have all these different dynamic characters with different backgrounds all coming together in this one film uh, it's it's quite the formula that really kicked off the MCU in the first place yeah um, so I do feel that it is it is something to be looked forward to I mm -hmm. hope the story is good mm -hmm. that the weight is there um, it looks like it yeah, but it, feels like it. it yeah. definitely feels like there's it. there's a lot of unlikely characters that are kind of are meeting each other and we're all it's funny because some people we've been introduced to, whether it be through the streaming world or the cinematic, like in the movie theaters, right. um, they're all coming together to all be in a movie theater, thank God, um, and also just see what this entails and why they want, why they are wanted to be yeah. executed, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, I mean. There's a lot of mystery and questions behind the storyline um, hmm. of what's going to happen to these people <laughs> right. or why. So. Yeah, on a on a cinematic level, it definitely is more of a a qual like quality wise. It, it definitely seems more like the Marvel we're used to in the theaters. Mm -hmm. Um, to your point, Josh, about these characters, they all are in some way connected to the characters we used to know. Mm -hmm. Um, and not not only are they just like sort of connected, they had a relationship with, you know, some of these other Avengers, direct opposition, direct to opposition to, yeah. or they were best friends with, right? Um, and clearly, Bucky at some point is going to help them join them. Right from the way it looks and some of the stills we got, and the fact that he's in the elevator with them. Right, so there's clearly a story there. I like you said. I think I'm excited that we don't know too much. That there is a little bit of unknown, especially with the still. I mean, we got a lot of announcements with Marvel recently, but even in the midst of all that noise, where the state is of Marvel right now in terms of the characters and the story, right, and what they're telling, in this little limbo state, I think it's it's a great uh, ground and foundation for pretty fun and uh yeah great development for all these mm -hmm. characters and, yeah, i don't know what what are you feeling dad or well I, you know I, I think you're saying it beautifully um, we as the audience we we only know so much but they've they've been in the works uh trying to remedy a lot of the miss um the missed targets you know they've they've had some misses mm -hmm. in the last couple of years but this is a, an incredible cast yeah. uh, i mean you have florence Pugh and and you know um Good Lord, help me out, Mr. We call him Hopper, but it's oh, David, David Harbour. David, David Harbour. He's, you know, th these are just two of the whole cast that are just so talented, and the the story possibilities are exciting, but the layers are there. You know, there's, mm -hmm. I, I love this notion that she's, she's just kind of checking in and doing the, the work as a mundane kind of a thing, um, and she's hoping for more. So there's a lot of layers of humanity there, so I think there's going to be, a lot of potential. So I'm, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm excited. I'm curious. Mostly, I would say I'm curious. Mm -hmm. That's probably the stronger word. But the the story element that intrigues me, maybe because we've been watching Slow Horses, but it, it feels like someone's cleaning up something. They mm. they they have too many uncrossed T's and dotted un, undotted eyes, mm. and they need to get rid of these. Guys. Oh, like Slow Horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're they, trying to put the blame absolutely. on absolutely people that have mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah. yeah. So that that's so, good guys that. Mm -hmm. or someone that right is... that, that that little phrase that Val says that there's bad guys and then there's worse I think the worst ones are trying to clean up by uh, you know restructuring their pawn setup yeah you know and if you can do that then you, you have an interesting story there because then the the puppets become aware of their strings and mm. and suddenly they want to be free so and that... also their capability of being good like that's oh yeah. something that they're never really told or mm -hmm. given the chance to do where I feel like that's the reason why Bucky's going to join. Yes, is because that's he's experienced going. that mercy, that yeah. grace, and and what Cap has you know had done for him and accepting mm -hmm. him back. Mm -hmm. And there is always that limbo. There's always that choice. You're never good or mm -hmm. bad. In fact, the people that think they're super super good will do whatever it takes to be seen as that, and you'll end up doing bad stuff. So it's yeah. like you have to constantly be choosing which side to be on. 
it's not about a status it's about the morality and what really remains in our person and the everyday decisions so right. it's it's really fertile for some amazing really stories yeah. so bucky is the character that can escort them from uh, take them out of this like limbo state that they've been in you know mm-hmm. where they're all just kind of wondering well who's going to hire me next and you know the the there was a comment that uh, i think it was val in the voiceover she made where it's like there's bad guys and then there's worse Mm-hmm. guys right people and yeah. so there's there's this notion of well who are the worst ones that are out to have these individuals destroy each other and why someone's trying to clean up their mess you know mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. but i think bucky is is that character josh as you're saying that that he's the one that can infiltrate and tell them all right find your strings you're no longer don't be puppets anymore let's find our own way yeah. that, that that could be very interesting yeah, yeah. you know and, and there's a whole family aspect of it too mm-hmm. with uh, alexi and elena and john walker's a dad too right like, and that's, that was really sad to see that's the stuff that i mean that's why we do this because mm-hmm. we're a family so it, it yeah. strikes a nerve if it's done right it also yeah. follows a similar other you mentioned that about breaking out of the mold it, it follows a little bit of the suit of like loki right where he kind of had to break out of this sense of just being what he felt he needed to be or rather um yeah yeah what what like he was he became more than just like the villain or who the the bad you know the guy mm-hmm. that was just there to antagonize the heroes we know but for them to find their own identity which i think is very interesting so yeah there's a lot to be curious about i think curious is a really strong word like you said dad so mm-hmm. only time will tell movies right around the corner it'll be here before we know it yep then we have some good marvel movies coming out next year some stuff to be um, definitely looking forward to so meet us in the comments we'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments as to what you thought of this teaser trailer maybe what stood out to you how you're feeling about this movie if you're excited if you're not excited how mm-hmm. you feel about the MCU as a whole we've been on this journey with you guys for a while now that you've been with us for many years watching Marvel stuff so definitely would love to hear what you have to, th- to think and say became one word say. what you guys think <laughs> and say about this trailer about Marvel we thought this mm. hear what you guys have to say Easter eggs theories all of it so meet us in the yeah. comments Besides that, you guys go out there, spread your light, and we'll see you guys in the next Magilive video. Have a Magilive day. Bye. Bye.